Don't fret now. I know exactly where to find a corrupted crystal composed of ice aspected ether. An associate of mine, Ingridania, has been studying the effects of one such crystal on living beings. Eh, what's that, that expression? I thought you'd be pleased to hear this news. This is not a what another wild dodo chase, I assure you. What's even better is that this time you need to use that warden pot of yours to protect yourself from the crystal's energy. Hayden's findings suggest this one is quite safe. Why, you ask? Well, let's just say it has undergone a unique process that has rendered such precautions unnecessary. Anyway, don't let me keep you. It's been a pleasure, old. Come back and see me sometime, all right? Maybe. All right. Tutor Gridania. But let's see, it was asked how I was doing, and I am doing pretty good. I'm having a good time. Like, my, my biggest problem right now is there there's like seven games I want to play at the same time. Like, I want to finish up Space Marine. I want to play Chef RPG. I also want to play Rekka. And satisfactory 1.0. Honestly, DQ Monster sounds pretty good. Nightingale has released another update. Or has released their big update. So they might have actually fixed that game too. So it's worth playing. So many games, so little time, huh? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like usually I've got enough time to like play a game through to completion. I think this month I'm going to try just playing a bunch of games at the same time, and whichever ones are the most fun, those are the ones we're going to end up playing all the way through. Like, I might actually have to abandon Visions of Mana, even though I'm having a good time with it. I'm just having a better time with other games. Sounds like a good way to approach it, right? It's an expensive way to per approach it, though. I can't really afford it. Don't tell my wife. I'll just cook a bunch of dinners. If we go like two months without ordering a pizza. Maybe I'll make that video game money back. And she'll be like, man, you've really been on top of things lately. And I'll be like, yeah. I'm just trying to support this family. Just wanted to be really helpful. I'll do all the dishes too. She won't suspect a thing. Till she looks at the budget and goes, Did you spend $200 on video games in September? And I'll be like, Yeah. That's how, how I figured out what I want to give my time to. The thing is, when you are. Sorry. When you are in between, you still have those games. Yep. Oh, but I... I am actually kind of shocked at the amount of good games coming out this year. Like, there have been industry layoffs, like, all over for, like, three or four years. And I think it was supposed to suck this year. And the fact that there's so many good ones coming out is just kind of baffling to me. Greetings and salutations, Mr. Sugarheart, I presume? Uh, Sienna informed me of your adventures to in Aleport. Terribly sorry about the misunderstanding, though. As Professor Lambertaint is fond of saying, no action in the name of science is ever truly wasteful. The matter at hand? A corrupted crystal possessing the properties you seek could be found in abundance at the standings cor standing courses following the calamity. Alas, that is no longer the case, and while there is at least one suitable crystal that gives re that remains to be found within the Twelve's Wood, 
Precisely where it is at any moment is more difficult to say. Permit me to explain. You're familiar with Spriggans, yeah? The furry little rascals that won't that want to seek out ores and other stones? Well, one such creature with an infamously insatiable appetite has single-handedly devoured every corrupted crystal in the Twelveswood. Fortunately for you, these crystals take an eternity to digest, assuming they can be digested, and I am reasonably confident that one still resides within his gut. It's quite fascinating, really. My theory is that this giggity first consumed a corrupted crystal when... <sighs> you couldn't care less about all this, could you? To the point, then. Giggity seldom makes his presence felt unless there's particularly fine fodder to be had. Therefore, we shall require a lure, and I have precisely the sort he will find impossible to resist. Simply place this true heart I shall save the story of its origins for, or, and of its unusual name for another occasion outside of the Spriggan's lair and wait for the opportune moment to pounce. As for the method of which you will retrieve the crystal from his gut, I shall leave that to your discretion. I have a giant axe. Whew. <coughs> Excuse me. But yeah, that's actually one of the reasons we started playing Final Fantasy XIV. It's like a... it's a super long game. And I was just thinking... There's no... There's no good games coming out. We'll be able to, like, play the heck out of this. Maybe even, like, drop a full 360 hours and make it all the way through Dawn Trail. Before, like, good games come out for Christmas. But, uh, that's not happening. Alright, where am I actually going, though? Not far at all. Well, shoot. There we go. Ooh. But I still need to get all the way through this, so I think I'm going to keep at least through Realm Reborn, I'm going to keep playing Final Fantasy fourteen. And I think I'm going to be playing it every Friday for a bit. While I sort through the other million games I need to play. So Final Fantasy Fridays is going to be a theme for a while, I think. It'll take us a while to get through everything at that rate, but we're doing it. Oof. The Chonk is perfection. Yeah, is this your first time seeing the Chonkabo? He's adorbs. Look at him. Final Fantasy XIV has a really strict modding policy, like, if they catch you doing it, you're, you're straight up banned. But I almost took a risk so that I could change his, uh, mount theme to some, like, real gangster rap. It was gonna be great. I forgot how to dismount. There we go. Let me up.
He's got a rock. He dead. I'm getting a little clumsy at this. It seems like going a week without playing something really puts me out of practice. Oop. How do I... I've gone the wrong way. But yeah, riding this guy really makes me want to blast Notorious B.I.G. for some reason. Can't possibly think of the reason. I mean, sometimes his moves just hypnotize me, you know? Am I allowed in this door? White Wolf Gate remains closed until further notice. If you wish to enter East Gridania, you have to enter through the Badger Gate. Now, I think one of the blue quests inside opens up this gate, but I don't care that much. Like, how many times am I actually going to need to exit through that way? Whee! The mount is so cute, right? Now, I can't remember when I got him or why. But, uh, I, I got Final Fantasy XIV when it first came out. Like, I pre-ordered the Collector's Edition, like, 14 years ago. And just, like, after all that time, I've got, like, a million, like, we're sorry the servers went down, uh, or promotional mail. And the Fat Chocobo is probably the best one out of all of those. In case you haven't noticed the theme, I'm old. I played the realm way before it was reborn. And you know what? I actually kind of enjoyed the very first one. Like, the very first release. Like, yeah, it wasn't great. There's a lot of things I miss about it. Like, all, all the harvesting jobs used to have, like, fun little mini-games that you'd play when you harvested. Like, yeah, it was tedious and it took a long time. I'm sure the gold farmers were furious. But... It was fun. I like the little mini game in my uh, my material gathering. Then again, the game couldn't have been that good. I'm probably looking at it through like nostalgia goggles. I'm sure I would have gotten sick of it very quickly. You have been playing a long time. There was a point where like, the account setup was so weird, you'd like, buy a Square account and then you'd pay for, like, your character slots. And I accidentally thought that, like, deleting your character slots would be enough to, like, stop, stop the payments. And I accidentally left, like, the main account payment on for, like, years before I noticed it in my bank account. Final Fantasy XIV has gotten a couple hundred dollars out of me at this point. Ah, pray do not speak up on on me like that. I was engrossed in... Wait, what's that? What's that god's awful smell? It's a crystal. 
Yeah, probably like five hundred dollars I've given to Final Fantasy fourteen, and I haven't done any microtransactions. My word, that is a breathtakingly beautiful crystal. I see my supposition was not mistaken. Ugh, I also see you weren't adverse to digging through the Spriggan's entrails for your prize. We owe our furry friend a debt of gratitude, you know? This thick coating of digestive juices is protecting us from the harmful effects of the crystal, just as the warded pot you once used did. Why so glum, friend? You finally obtained the corrupted crystal you sought, one overflowing with earth a suspected aether. Calm down, I just, I just... It is comprised of ice suspected aether. Worry not. I suppose that joke was in poor taste, considering your previous two attempts were for naught. He got me. I believed him. I was like, oh no.